uh, uh, it's a surprise to everyone, you know. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, you know, I came back online because of what happened a while ago. Uh, I was on, online a couple of minutes ago. I just came back to make this video for my viewers to wake up and meet in the morning. So what really happened was that uh, it's a lot of things that happened. You know, they attacked my computer a couple of couple of uh, weeks ago. Uh, that was the time of a uh, problem of uh, Governor Obaseki and myself. So his boys, uh, the vampire gang, they attacked my computer. So what actually happened, uh, when I tell everyone that no one should call me whenever I get off online, I think immediately when I get off online, they call, they call, even if I tell them not to call. Because I know how I can store it. So on Facebook, they should be ashamed of themselves. Whatever transpired, I don't know. So they wipe everything out completely. Everything. So that video that I did a while ago, they wipe it out. So I want everyone to understand that was not my fault. So I have to wrestle this with my son and uh, with my family. I said, look at what happened. They said, no, you need to go back and make people know what really happened, you know. So that is why you can see I'm tired. I was just sitting there. I don't know what to do. Then I said, wow, how could this happen, you know. So that is exactly what happened. So I want to appeal to everyone. It wasn't my fault. I didn't do it. Uh, whoever did it, if it's the cause of the, I think it was the cyber attack. Uh, combined with Facebook. So Facebook have been doing a lot of things with them. So I don't know how they managed to do it. So that video is wiped. No one can see it. So what I'm going to do on Wednesday, I'm going to be on a, I'm going to be on Facebook. So I'm going to be on Facebook. The truth that they do not want anyone to know about. They don't want nobody to know about it. They, I know Abuja called Benicity or Abuja, they connect with other, the Nigerian state. They don't want what I say. They don't want it to come out. Can you imagine? If they can attack me through cyber attack, what can they not do if they see me physically? You know what I'm saying? So that is why when they tell me, oh, do not come to Nigeria, blah, blah, blah. Then I said, okay, I'm going to respect it. I'm going to believe whatever they said. Because when someone tell you don't do this and you go ahead and do it, not until the governor asked me to come, they will provide their own security for me. I will not do it. So, but what I will do, I'm going to say the truth. No one can stop it. If I come out on Wednesday, it's going to be, a lot of secret is going to be out. A lot of Nigerian dirty laundry is going to be out. So I want everyone to understand. Wherever you are, I want you to prepare for Wednesday. On Wednesday, same time, 9 o'clock European time. 8 o'clock Nigeria time and 2 o'clock United States time. I am going to come out. The truth about Obasejo, what he did, like I stated a while ago, is going to come out in the public. Everyone is going to know about it. So I want to tell those who want to order for a t shirt, whatever you want to do, please go ahead and contact us. Send us a message. Do not call, please. If you have not been sharing my video, go ahead and share it. Because if you do not share it, I'm going, I'm going through it. Do you admit it's going through it? If you don't share it and we find out you don't share it, we're going to unfriend you. I will not block you. But when you do not share our video and you are sending us video, whatever you want us to talk about, we're going to, we're going to make sure we block you. Because you cannot be sending us video while you are not sharing our video. You know what I'm saying? So, the Senate, Nigerian Senate should be very happy today. And, uh, as president Abuja should be very happy because they know that the video that I did when it come out is gonna is gonna be a wake up call to all Nigerians. So I'm gonna appeal to United States government, European government, EU, European Union, Canadian government, British Prime Minister, uh, German Chancellor, uh, President of France, Italy government, Russians, and Chinese should go ahead and caution Nigeria. Nigerian government are going in a blank. They are just, it's like a ticket bomb. It's going to explode if no one speak about it. You know what I'm saying? So that is the truth. So I want everyone to understand on Wednesday, I'm not going to come out with any other thing. On Wednesday, I'm going to be online. On Wednesday, it's going to be, let me tell you, trust me. Those that is close to Governor Obaseki, please, 
I'm begging you. The computer, my sub, the cyber attack that is boys, they did. I want them to pay me for it. I need my money. I need it. I don't want anything. I don't want any contract. I don't want anything. I'm going to speak the truth. I need my money. Because I'm still going through suffering right now. Look what happened today. When I get off online, instantly it was 12,000. Then the reaction was almost 30 something thousand right there. You know what I mean? Don't talk about the like. If you combine everything, it was close to 100,000. Not the comment. Instantly they blow it up. You know what I'm saying? They blow it up. You know? They blow it up. They blow it up. You know? If they can attack me here in the United States, where you have freedom of speech, what do you think about when you are when you are in Nigeria? You know what I'm saying? So I'm here out. It's about almost 3 o'clock a.m. in Europe or maybe 2 o'clock a.m. I'm out right now. I cannot get up from my couch. I was in my living room. You know what I'm saying? I was tired. I said, really? I am a man that does not plan whatever I want to say. When I come out here, God always tells me what to do. There's no way I can go back and do exactly what I did. But I know my God is going to make it better. That's one thing I want to let everyone know. But if you come out, I have called every individual that upload my stuff in YouTube. If they bring it out on YouTube, I'm going to post it online. I'm going to put it on Facebook. Very soon, we're going to have a Freedom TV. We are not going to be using We only do streaming on Facebook. So they can't be able to do us nothing. So we're going to have our camera, which is going to cost a lot of money. I'm going to do it. I will buy it by myself. I'm not going to ask for no money for it. So when I buy it, we're going to have our own camera. Whenever they shut us down, we'll still have our video. Right now, what I did is gone. Every comment, everything, everyone, every insult, all is gone. You know what I'm saying? It's gone. So it's, it's really gone. You know, Destiny, I want you to know that I really appreciate what you've been doing. You know, I want you to know you're close to my heart. Even though I've known, I don't bother you. I don't send you a message. You know, I, I understand that. I've went through your page. I have investigated you. So I want you to know you are a clean guy, you know. So, whoever is using it, it might be a different picture, but it's okay. So, I want you to understand that. So, I know all my admit, they will be shocked tomorrow when, I, when they get online. They're going to say, oh, why did you come out? Blah, blah, blah. You know, it's okay. So, I just want everyone to understand that this problem is not a problem that anyone can ignore. You know what I'm saying? Nigeria is in a big mess. Just look at the airport. You know what I'm saying? Just look at it. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it. Please, I'm begging you, get your membership ID card. The ID card is not ready, but just register. When you register, your name is gonna be there. When the ID card is out, the machine is gonna cost me six thousand dollars. I'm gonna buy it soon. You know what I mean? When we go for printing, when we print it out, we we'll print all at once. Then we'll start sending it to you. If you do not register now, you bring it in one by one. From next month, it's going to be $50. I'm being honest. $50. Either you be a member or you are not. Because if you have that freedom ID card on you, even if you are an asylum, political asylum, you are a refugee, when they see it, they will think twice. Before they do anything, because they know we're going to bring it out. Whatever brutality or anything they do to you, tell us, we're going to bring it out. We're going to make the world know about it. It's going to help you. If you are in Nigeria, you have the ID card, you get stopped by police, they arrest you, video it, call us, we we'll call the DPO. You know, that will help people, you know. It's like, it's not an insurance, but it's very good. This is not a secret court. It's not a courtism. This is a freedom movement. I don't care whatever member you are. I don't care if you belong to Satan. I don't care. But I want you to do the right thing. Join us. Let's fight for freedom together. I don't care. But one thing you should know, people's freedom movement is number one in your heart. Freedom, even devil want freedom. You know what I'm saying? Satan want freedom. Housewife want freedom. Husband want freedom. Everybody want freedom. Even witch, they want freedom. They want to be free. So, please, 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 I'm begging you. Because this guy that is the kid in Benin City today, I mean the other day, he wasn't our member. But I got a call a few minutes ago. He was uh, one of my brother members. 
you know i don't know if i can call his name but i know he's my brother so it's my it's my brother member so he already is going to talk about it tomorrow so i just get off on the phone with him so i let him know and tomorrow i'm going to watch him i'm going to watch him then we're going to make sure that we all work together whatever gang is in nigeria their leader we're going to talk to their leader every bad apple that is in their group they will fish them out we we'll fish them out and send them to jail you know whatever group meeting society or union you belong to is not to destroy enough of enough of all this nonsense that's what i want to say so please come back on my facebook page check it tomorrow if i have it on youtube i'm going to upload it i want you all to know that i love you all. you know what you will know how to do is whenever they try to hit us we get up and fight back so i want them to know on wednesday it's going to be about abuja you know what i mean the 29 billion they're going to share and the congress i mean the house of assembly they have their own too and each member i don't i don't want to be wrong about it so let, let tell everyone you know to come on facebook everyone you know even in nigeria tell them to go and buy megabyte tell them to buy nigeria government let me tell you 29 i mean sorry not 29 billion i was wrong Thank God that, uh, uh, okay, 13 billion, 13 billion is what they're going to share with the bill. The 29, 29 million, 29 million is the money they receive every month. The Senate, they receive 29 million every month. 29 million. That about 29 million, let me tell you what they do with it right quick. Like a senator, senator Rohide, that represent my own area. Everyone knows senator Rohide. is a PDP. People keep calling me PDP. I have not seen one thing that he has done in Oregon local government. No one thing. I don't care about PDP going around taking pictures of one exactly one particular place. Senator Rohide is representing me. He have to answer to me. My mother, my father, my parents, they vote for him. They call me PDP, but I'm a, I don't care. PDP call me a PC, I don't care. I'm an independent-minded. I follow the truth. So tomorrow, on, on, I mean, on Wednesday, I'm going to talk about it. We're by a politician. They are in politics. Orohide is not a bad person, but the people that is paying salary, leaders, Every month they come to and collect salary for him. He should tell us what he's doing for us. Not packing youth, no, not even youth, packing gang. 400, they will be waiting for him. Whenever he come, he pay them money, like salary. He's not doing anything. So, I'm telling all those PDP people that is putting pictures here and there, go, go and delete those pictures. I hate lies. Orion and local government is still decimated. One day is decimated. Already has not changed. So I want everyone to understand that. Then Asoro, I talk about Asoro. Whoever know Asoro, House of Assembly, a do state house of assembly. If you know Asoro, tell Asoro to call me as soon as possible. He, I want to know what he have done for Urinigbe, Ewesi, and Oriomo as a whole. He's representing Oriomo South. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Please. I want you all to let him know. Then whoever, whoever, please go, you know what, tell everyone, I just wait. On Wednesday, we're going to be online. I don't care if it's going to be two hours, but I want to be sure that I'm going to be here. So they can never, freedom can never be taken. They can never take my freedom. You know, they can hit us, but that's fine. Please, Governor Obasek, if you are watching, the computer that you all destroy everything in my home, I'm not worrying about pain and suffering right now. Pain and suffering, me not going to Nigeria, that one we'll discuss that later. I want them to reimburse me as soon as possible. I have never eaten any government money. This is my sweat and money. My son money, my money. Please, I want my money back. You are in the government. You are a governor. Please, I want my money back. If you can go do a quick way, you can pay my money back. Please, I'm telling you, those state, I want my money back. My property, the, my, the, that they destroy the APC of Ethernet, they destroy it. I don't want to mention them, please. I just, I'm begging. He's watching me now. Please tell your father to bring my money for me. I'm begging you. Please. You can see what happened to me today. 
I am tired. I am begging. I just want my money. I have to feed my family. I have to feed. Do you know how many families I have more than 11 million? Please. All people freedom movement members are my families. Please. That's what I want to do. Go ahead. Share the information. On Wednesday, I'm going to see you. I love you. God bless you. I want you to understand. I will always fight for you, okay? So you can remember the music when I start with. Uh, it's a Bini music sing by Osayomori Joseph. I love Osayomori Joseph. He's my hero. He says the meaning of that music is that, is that humans, they are just looking at the skin. When humans are looking at the skin, then the spirit, God Almighty, is looking at now your heart and your soul. So I can only see people, but I don't know what is really in their mind. The reason why I play that music, I see everybody today, we're all happy. But they already know they were going to crash my, my video. They know they were going to take it. But no one said anything about it. They were just looking. They let me waste my time. They let me waste my saliva. It's not easy for an old man like me to come out every day. Almost every day. It's not easy. You know? So that's the reason why I play that music. And I love Osayomori Joseph. I'm going to continue to do the what I, what I know I know how to do best. So thank you all, everybody. God bless you all. I'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you. Please, like my page. Do it, please. If it's full, like it. In order or oh, go back and follow me. Or uh, whatever you can do, please. I don't want you to meet no episode. So you're going to learn a lot from it. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Let me see if they're going to take this one too. If you see it, they're fine. If you don't see it, they already took it. God